Are you uh, into in this? Sure. Go on. How did we get into this mess? I really don't know how. Welcome back to Stat Wars, and it's the induction of a new format. Ooh. Stat Wars, the league, and we had to kick it off with a heavyweight matchup. The top of the table. I'm not really a heavyweight, I'm more of a welterweight. You are more of a, you're a bantam. Yeah, I'm a bantam. Yeah, Joe Tomlinson is obviously here. He is still on Football Daily, even though he's more of a balls up guy these days, aren't you? You wanna start it? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm still, I'm still Football Daily at heart, baby. Ooh. Are you prepped? Are you prepared? I'm absolutely not prepped. Do we know the format of the league? Yeah, basically, I think everyone's going to play each other and then it will be ranked, obviously. At the top, there will be a playoff, I think, to determine the winner. That will be Champions League places. At the bottom, relegation. And there will be forfeits for people who find themselves at the foot of the table, as Zach Jellob definitely will. So will I. Should we go into the questions? Yeah. Let's go. Joseph, the first question goes to you and it comes from no one because we haven't written it down. Only four players have won the Premier League Player of the Month two months in a row. Name two of those four. Superb! Easy, easy. We're Should I just in, do this whole episode naked yeah, and then you can it. just blur me? Blur just do my it cop. pure oh, arsehole. I'd rather not see you naked. Just do it pure arsehole. Just wink your arsehole. And I'll just be like this the whole episode. I like this. This is cute. I want this inside of me. All right, so I think Mo Salah would have done it last year. Yeah, Mo or, Salah's one of them. Well, what about Jamie Vardy? Those two? No, he would. You know when he scored like ten yeah, games in a row. But then the first month they probably wouldn't have given it to him, but the second month they would have. Uh, so Mo Salah is going to be one of my answers. Okay. Is that right? I went for both. Uh, no, you have to give both. Oh my god! I'm going to go Mo Salah and Thierry Henry. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, oh my correct. god! Who would you have gone for? Uh, Harry Kane. I know, I'm gonna go Gerard. why not? Bergkamp and Fowler! What the f***? Fowler! <laughs> okay. That was hard. This is great, mate. You're heading right to the bottom of the Jesus table. Jesus Christ. Straight down. Patrick, this very specific and difficult question comes from Manuel Pearson, and he has asked, what was the last season in the Champions League where only one team from London featured? <laughs> What is this? The league format has stepped up a gear. These questions are seriously hard. Um, right, well, Arsenal weren't in it last, but Spurs have been in it like the last three years, which bridges the kind of Arsenal. That, that one of my wife's hair. Is that one of your pubes? Yeah, that's absolutely one of them. <laughs> the length of Pat's pubes. Perfect. Arsenal won the league in 2001 too. I think the top four that season would have been like us, United, like Leeds and some other bulls. So I'm just going to go 2002 3. That's my guess. Is that correct? Oh my <laughs> god! Oh! Are you joking? Are you <laughs> me? Amazing. Amazing. Is this a prank? Say <laughs> why? Also, why did I have to pull the man like the Manchester City of fixtures first up? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I couldn't have pulled <laughs> Cardiff. Mate, could we're, I? mate, we're one question each in. Mm. Let's not let's not get your head down. I know, but I couldn't. You're have all pulled, about winning, man. I couldn't have pulled Zach Cardiff City Jalab. Yeah. I had to pull Patrick Manchester City Van Straten. Thanks, thanks, babe. Joseph, the next question is also incredibly difficult. It's a it's a tough week. This one, and Apex Gaming has asked. Who assisted Ronaldo's last Real Madrid goal? Right, let's just think logically, because I'm not going to have a clue in which La Liga game he scored his last goal. I have a guess, but to be honest, it's not hard to have a guess. Uh, I'm going to go for Marcelo. Interesting. Oh, wow. What a guess. We the guesswork is absolute madness we today. We never have got that. I'd have been like, I wondered if it was uh, Lucas Vazquez. You know, he got hacked down for that pen against oh, Juventus. Yeah. But that was the best... Pure Mate, guesswork. 0 got, 2 3 and now Marcelo. I've got to say, hats off. That's an incredible Both answer. odds of like 1 in that 30. Could, that could have been anything. Unreal so far, guesswork. This is excellent. Come on, let's go. Next one. Call me Mark Labette, aka The Beast. Six for eight of pure meat. I don't know who that is. He's the bloke off the chase. 
Oh, you love the chase, I do. don't you? Bradley, brothers. Bradley Walsh. I actually love Bradley Walsh. He'd be one of my heroes to meet Bradley Walsh. If I, if it's about, if I could take four people for a pint, one of them would be Bradley Walsh. Patrick Van Straten. This comes from no one, because once again, haven't written it down. Not my fault, don't blame me. I'm, I'm, in, I'm just innocent. I'm an innocent little boy. Can you name the two players who were playing for Portugal in the Euro 2016 triumph who were playing their club football in the Premier League at that time? So Cedric Suarez, I think, from Southampton. Ooh, was he, did, he, did they take him then? I think they did, I think they did. And Bernardo Silva wasn't there yet. He joined last season, didn't he? I don't know if he'd left yet, but my instinct says Jose Font. Oh, yes! No! Whoa! Whoa! That was bracing. This is a big tie. You've got to get it? this one, mate. You've got to get it. Need it. Joe, you need this to stay in the game. And the question comes from Ownzone. And he has asked, can you name the last two record holders of the fastest hat-trick in the Premier League? He's going to get this. Right, so the one that holds it currently is Sadio Mane. Yeah, and you will definitely get the previous one. And I think the previous one is Robbie Fowler. So do I. I think that's correct. Bang! Come on! Wow. This is tight! This is a very tight affair. Ooh, I've got to get this one. I don't want sudden death. I'm not, I'm not in the mood. This is sudden an death. incredibly I can't tight go bottom of the league. affair. I can't go bottom of the league. I've just realised I forgot to do my hair after a meeting. I'm turning to Chris Hamill. Oh, oh. K-pop panel. Patrick, if you get this question right, you win the first round. Oh, I mean, it's pretty much like normal because you always win it, but oh. Can you name the only player to have taken 10 or more penalties in the Premier League and to have scored all of them? I don't think Balotelli would have taken 10. So I think it's going to be Ricky Lambert or Latisse, who were both famously excellent penalty takers. Why 10 seems like a low number for those two? No, but at least 10. Like, at least 10 is quite a few. How many penalties did the team get over the course of the season? So this is probably somebody who was their, their team's like, a few penalty taker for at least two yeah. seasons. I feel like Ricky Lambert like never missed a pen or something, but it might just, it's gonna be the other one. But, but I'll just go Ricky Lambert, why not? Oh, oh it's your favorite player. I don't mind that, I would never have got that, that's okay. I wow, know, yo no, yo's never missed a pen. I have no shot at that, so that's fine. Tiebreaker. Ooh, I like these. Drama, pure drama. Who was the first manager from mainland Europe to win the Premier League Manager of the Month award? I don't have a better answer. Arsene Wenger. Oh hey! my God. Oh my God, well, that was lucky because I nearly said Alan Kerbishley. <laughs> 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 oh, f me. Oh, thank God. Right. High quality start there. Only, w only two incorrect questions, one each. If only there could be <clears throat> two winners. Ah. Hot potato. I was going to say it in a weird way again this time, but I've just run out of ways to say it. So if you know any new ways to say hot potato, put them in the comments below. This one comes from Jack Thornhill, and he wants to know if you two can name every English player in Pele's FIFA 100. Jesus. Every English player? Yep. Gerard. Mm. What Rooney? Mm. What, Beckham. Yeah. Bobby Charlton. Yeah. Bobby Moore. Mm. Um, what? Peter Shilton. Mm. John Terry. Mm. Rio Ferdinand. Mm. Ashley Cole. Mm. Frank Lampard. Mm. Michael Owen. Yeah. Lineker. Yeah. Um, Gascoigne. What? What? That was my name. Um, uh, Ian Wright, Tony Adams, um, Jackie Chalwin, uh, Jeff Hurst. Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, but Pele didn't it come off? Didn't it come out in like the early 2000s or something? When did it come out? Absolute joke. By the way, I literally had nobody else. When you said when you said Gaza, that was my last one. John Barnes, who the else is in there? Cool. You, Pele. Our second hot potato comes from someone who goes by the name Ridiculous Behaviour. Wow, mental. Can you name all the Premier League teams to have scored seven or more goals in a Premier League game? Arsenal. Yeah. Manchester United. Yeah. Man City. Mm -hmm. Chelsea. Yeah. Sunderland. Mm -hmm. Liverpool. 
Blackburn. Yes. Middlesbrough. Yes. Leeds. Mm. Uh, Newcastle. Yes. Oh! Tottenham. Yes. Everton. Yes. Oh my God. Arsenal said it. Um, uh, it's still going down. Coventry. Mm. Uh, Bradford. Mm. Southampton. Yeah. Watford. Mm. Leeds. Now, man. Derby. Uh, oh, yeah. That was an intense one. We can't have had many teams left in there. We let rattled off about 10. How many were left? Okay, we'd have got none of them. Fine. Very hard question. So that's one each. So we need a decider. And it comes down to this, going to the wire, all the rounds at the moment, all two of them. What are the chances? Can you name all the players to have more than 500 Premier League appearances? Gerard. Yes. Speed. Yes. Rooney. Mm. Lampard. Yes. Barry. Yes. Terry. Mm. Ferdinand. Yes. Scholes. Mm. Giggs. Yes. Van der Sar. Mm. What? Check. Mm. What? Um, Kudicini. What? <laughs> um, oh no! I'm panicking, Ashley Cole. Mm. Joe Cole, Gary Neville, mm. Phil Neville, mm. Wes Brown. Mm. Um, oh my God, Schwarzer. Yes. Oh. Friedel. Mm. Uh, Adams. Mm. Campbell. Yes. Oh no, Ian Wright. Mm. Uh, oh. Yes! Oh, that was so tense. Oh, oh David James. James. How many players are missing? Who yeah. do we miss? Gary How is Gary Neville David not on James. there? How is G Nev's not on there? Surely Neville's played more than 500 Premier League games. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. <sighs> oh, mate. Oh, Devastating. Mate. For fuck's sake. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> that came out so bad. Final round, I've already lost, but we may as well play it just for fun. It's Who Am I? Who am I? I am no name because like for the third time this episode, forgot to write the name down again. For three points, I played with Socrates, Dante and Claudio Bravo. Mark Bartra. Ooh. I don't know, I don't know, move on. For two points, when I arrived in England, I was my club's record signing. Dante? Yeah, I know, he's the f***ing problem. Dante. It's not Mesut Ozil. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this is so hard. Uh, Balotelli. Mm. This is well hard. Because Socrates was at Milan, wasn't he? Oh, no, he was at Inter. F*** you. And for one point, I've played under Guardiola, Thomas Schaff and Dieter Hecking. Hecking was at like Wolfsburg or something, or he is now. KDB? Oh! Where'd he play with, yeah, but where'd he play with Socrates? KDB. Fair enough, man. The Wolfsburg thing literally just popped into my head then, but where the f did he play with Socrates? Well, exactly, that was the thing. I was like, oh, well, KDB, and then I was like, no, don't be f Where the f did like, he play with Dante? He... Dante at Wolfsburg. Out of Wolfsburg. Out of Wolfsburg. Fair dues. Jesus. Fair dues. Our next Who Am I comes from BNMC, and for three points I played with Lucas Moura, Arturo Vidal, Steven Nzonzi, and Carlos Puyol. Front Ribery? Mm. Hardcore questions on the league edition of Stat Wars. Seriously stepped up a notch here. We well, had to be Barcelona or Spanish to play with Puyol. Had to be. Don't know, move on. For two points, I was part of a World Cup winning squad, but I didn't play a single minute, and I'm still bitter about it. So Spain then. Thiago Alcantara? Mm. Oh. I can't imagine a Frenchman playing with Puyol at Barcelona and not playing in the World Cup. That seems unlikely. Oh, I don't know. Move on. F*** this. For one point, I played in Spain and Italy before moving to the lovely Isle of England in 2016. So he's playing with Mora at Tottenham. He's played with Puyo for Spain or Barcelona. Fernando Llorente. Oh! Fucking hell. Where the f***? Oh, I played with Arturo Vidal at Juventus. Snake. I didn't even think that, I just went for somebody Spanish at Tottenham. Yeah. 
Our final Who Am I comes from Tafcap, and for three points I played with Torres, Marcus Alonso, <laughs> Cambiasso, <laughs> and Michael Bradley. Oh, that was, I should not have done that, but I've done it. That's an absolutely horrific question. Big Bolo's ended. <sighs> Imagine if that had come off. <laughs> Imagine. And Esteban Cambiasso. I don't know. This is mental. Go on. For two points, I have won the Europa League twice in a row with two different clubs. This is, that's no help at all. I'm trying to think, who won it before Sevilla went on that run, wasn't it? Atletico Madrid or Chelsea? Was it Chelsea? Did Chelsea sell someone to Sevilla? Cashley Cole. It's not bad, actually. Um, if you're watching this at home and you know who the answer is, you've Googled it. Don't pretend you haven't. Send me a screenshot of your history to prove it. And if there's any porn in there, I'll be disgusted at you. Diego Costa. And for one point, I have just joined my seventh different club in my seventh different country in the last five years. Oh, f off. That doesn't help us at all. It's not helpful in the least. These are meant to give man. more information, not be like... More cryptic. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just like, it's like f anagrams. It's like a riddle. Seventh club, seven countries. Who's been country hopping? Who's in India? Gone just there. Tim Cahill. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's there's some there's some like Marchena. That would be great though. What's the answer? Um, Marco Marin. Who wrote that? Marco Marin has played in seven different countries. T A F K F B. F you. F you. You joke. In fact, is that the artist formerly known as Prince? Isn't that what that is? It's Prince from Beyond the Grave. I may actually block him from the channel after that. F you. That's joke. A, that's You're a, a joke. joke. Marco Marin. Marco Marin. Get a life, mate. Marco Marin's dead. Even we all Ma know it. Even Marco's... What's the matter with you? Even Put Marco Marin's... Safe mode. Even Marco Marin's family doesn't remember he exists. <laughs> They're sat at home going, who was that lad who used to play for um, Chelsea for a season? <laughs> oh, it's my son, Marco Marin. <laughs> Great ending after a fantastic start, it has to be said. Yeah, I've got to say, it was an excellent first round. A, a poorish second round and a dreadful and third a round. a shocking Dreadful third round. Third round. But anyway, I take the points. I go to the top of the table. Tomlinson plummets to the bottom. He's below Zach Jellab. I expect that to be corrected quite quickly. How do you feel about your performance there? Um, I'm not totally disheartened by my performance I thought there, you were actually. excellent I thought I was in good the in the half. first round. Faded Unfortunately, physically in, in the, the second. second. In the third, I was just flaggy. I'll yeah. be honest. Uh, I, was, I was like Dean Windass in the 93rd minute. Just struggling to get up and down the pitch. <laughs> what should people do after this? If they uh, it? Why not go and check out Continental Club? It was released yesterday on EFD. It'll probably be me, Pat and Chris talking more nonsense if this does go out on a Saturday. When's the league going out? It might go out on a Thursday. We'll go if, Thursday, Saturday. If it goes on a Thursday, then it'll be tomorrow. If it's out on a Saturday, it'll be yesterday. You get it. It was on a Friday. Bye.